Hello guys and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we went through some more of Eeny Miney's testimonies. We found some small contradictions, but nothing too major. However, that might change slightly in this episode. Uh, one thing that I kind of noticed is that between episodes, I was looking at this and the sprite work, I'm 99% sure, is supposed to show her eyes closed. But the way it kind of looks, it looks like there's a bit of white in there with the, like, with the coloring of her eyes. So it makes it look like her eyes are, like, very slightly opened and they're also red. I don't know. Maybe I'll look back at this in editing and be like, what the hell was I talking about? Anyways, let's actually get to the gameplay part, what you actually came here for. So the contradiction of this testimony, we already did all the pressing last episode. You're supposed to press statement 3 and you'll get this new statement about the car being from England. Which doesn't really seem that weird on her on its own. But if we go ahead and check the court record and look for, I believe it's newspaper clipping 2. Yes, so right here when Eeny Miney was recounting her story of how she survived, she mentions that she got out of the right door. But that's strange. If this is a car from England, then the door on the right side would be the driver's side, not the passenger side like she said. Objection. Miss Miney, do you remember this article? It's an article about the accident. You had said this. But I opened the right door and, like, got out. That's correct, isn't it? Like, why are you suddenly asking me about that? Your Honor, which side is the passenger seat? The left? Or the right? Well, it's on the right side, of course. Because the driver's is on the left side. That would be if it were an American car. But it would be the opposite in a British car. Opposite. The two of them were riding in a British car. In that case, the passenger side would be the left side. Ah! What do you mean by this? Miss Miney, you said that you had escaped using the right side door of the car. But if you were sitting there... Then that means that you were in the driver's seat. Order! Order in the course! Order! 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 Ah! Mr. Phoenix Wright is blabbering nonsense again. Eenie says that the person who was driving was her older sister, Mimi Miney. That is what Eenie said, yes. But that is where her story falls apart. Somewhere, all of us made a big error in our assumptions. Phoenix, it looks like you finally found the real root of this murder. If we connect all the dots, there can only be one answer. I'd like to ask the court a question. Eni or Mimi, who was really driving that night? Well, according to all of the stories we've heard, it was Mimi Miney Mimi, Mimi driving. The answer is the one person who had her driver's license, Mimi Miney. After all, that makes her the only person who could legally drive. But you just said, the witness, Miss Eeny Miney, was the one in the driver's seat. Which leads us to the next question. The next question? Who is the person standing on the witness stand right now? Ugh. What sort of idiotic ruse is this, Mr. Phoenix writes? This witness's name. This witness's name is. I'll tell you what her name really is. This witness's real name. Mimi Miney, that is your real name. Of all the foolish dribble, Z then how do you explain her appearance? When she was admitted into the hospital, this witness was su suffering severe facial burns. So for the purpose of facial reconstruction, they used a picture. Facial reconstruction surgery? This is the picture she gave her doctors at the time. That's right. 
It's a picture of her younger sister. No! But, Mimi Miney, she died in the car accident. That's what everyone thought. However, that was not the case. Then, the bodies they found at the crash site. That was the body of the real Eeny Miney. Isn't that right, Miss Mimi Miney? That car accident one year ago. The one who died that night was Eeny Miney. Her sister, Mimi, then stole her face and was reborn as Eeny. With this, she effectively erased Mimi Miney from his existence. Your Honor, I'm sure you can now see why Mimi had to kill Dr. Gray. What do you mean? Ah! What is the meaning of this nonsense? Dr. Gray wanted to call back the spirit of a dead person. Specifically, the spirit of his nurse that died in the crash, Mimi Miney. However, that would not have been possible, because Mimi Miney was still, in fact, alive. And that fact would have been discovered had the channeling been conducted. So this witness had to stop that from happening. At all costs. And... And... And that's why she had to kill Dr. Turner Gray? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Before the channeling, Dr. Gray had the misfortune of consulting the witness about communicating with the dead. And in that moment, his fate was sealed. Ooh, ooh. Well, Miss Eni, I mean, Miss Von Karma. Eee! Why did you say my name just now? Looks like I've been unmasked. V witness? That's right. I admit it. My real name is Mimi Miney. That quack doctor. He got what he deserved in the end. And I was so close to finally ditching Mimi too. So close. But... But why? Why would you go so far as to throw away yourself? To become your own sister? I think I understand why. Mimi Miney wanted herself to disappear because of this. That's... That's about some malpractice incident. Dr. Gray was right. The mistake was caused by the nurse. A nurse by the name of Mimi Miney. That's right. The person standing before us today. And a few weeks after this mishap, Mimi Miney had a car accident. In which she lost her younger sister. The timing couldn't have been worse. Fourteen patients dying in that incident, and her own sister's life extinguished. It was all too much to bear. I found a way for myself to escape it all. The only way. She lost everything in the flames of that accident. Her sister, and even her own face. This was her last chance. Her chance to throw away her past and start a new life as her sister. Unbelievable. A plan beyond my wildest imagination. That jerk. If only he hadn't thought of that channeling mumbo jumbo. Mumbo jumbo? Becoming Eni has been the most horrible experience in the world. Spirit channeling, the occult. I hate it. I hate it all. I believe there are still a few unsolved riddles here. Why did you set a murderous revenge plot into motion? And why did Miss Morgan Fay agree to help you with the plan? Regardless, I believe one thing has been made crystal clear. The innocence of the defendant, Maya Fay. This... This is preposterous! I... I'm perfect! Me, Francisca von Karma. 
I'm going to enjoy the night, the news tonight, Miss Von Karma. How about you? It's gonna be broadcast all over the world, right? Your defeat, that is. Yo! Oh! Uh! Ow! Uh, oh! Uh! Oh! Oh! Ow! 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 Uh! If I'm off for good measure. Phoenix! Hang in there, Phoenix! Phoenix! This court is a fraud! A sham! Now then, it looks like it will be some time before Mr. Wright regains consciousness. So I will go ahead and pronounce the verdict. Not guilty. I like how Phoenix is just gone from the court shot. That is all. This court is adjourned. Also, I forget if I mentioned this previously, but according to a comic in the instruction manual for this game, Gumshoe is the one who makes and throws all of the confetti. I th I'll leave a link to it down in the description. It's really funny. It's only like a couple panels, but it's great. Congratulations, Maya. S sis It's good to see you, Maya. How are you doing? Sis! Sis! I didn't kill anyone, did I? No, you didn't. It was all just a dream. A really bad dream. You know, sis... In my dream, I smelled a really familiar scent. A familiar scent? I was inside that clothing box, right? That box. That was the box you used to store your clothes in a long, clothes in a long time ago. That's right. Hmm. There is still one thing I don't quite get. What's that? What do, what would what would have happened if Mimi hadn't shot Dr. Gray? I mean, we broke in because we heard a gunshot. I think Mimi Miney had planned to open the door to the chamber herself. And then, you and Lada would have witnessed quite a scene. A possessed Maya Fey who had just committed a murder. You planned it down to the smallest detail, huh? Nick! Congratulations, Maya! Thanks! Looks like you, you bailed me out of another jam. Well, you know. But, I really don't want something like this to happen ever again. Hmm? I'm fine because I have you to help me out, Nick. But, every time something happens, I lose someone special to me. First my sister, and now my aunt. <laughs> hey, Nick, tell me. Tell me why my aunt went and did something so horrible. Why would she help Miss Mimi out with a plan like this? I just... I just don't understand it, Nick. Maya, it's over. Why don't we just let it be? Nick, please, I need an answer. The reason Morgan helped Mimi with her plan was... Pearly? Four years from now, a new master will be born into Karine Village. And that person will be you, Maya. A and? But, if you weren't there, then the main family's bloodline would disappear. And what would happen then? The Branch family. My aunt. No, Morgan's spiritual power is still too, too, too weak. The next person would be... Pearls. Ah! Everything was done for her sake. It was all so that Pearls would become the next master. Y yeah, I can see that. Did Maya say something just now? I think that she was saying... I thought so. My precious Pearl, you are the only one suitable to be the master of Kurai, my dear child. I sacrificed it all, all for you. I help that brainless nurse carry out her murder, 
and cooperated with that whip-happy prosecutor. It was all to unseat that annoying witless main family girl. That Maya Fay. But I shall be patient, my dearest Pearl. A chance will present itself. Your time will come. 